Let's take a look at how I created this magical empty jug that pours out water. The basic idea is to start by filming a clean shot of the empty mug before it is filled with water. This is important because it's going to act as our masking layer. Then I'm going to pour in water using a bottle that I've prepared on the side. After I fill up the cup with the water, then I will do the acting of using a cloth to cover the cup. But the cup has water, so that is where the clean shot is going to come in to help cover up the mug that has water. Then after that, I will pretend to use the other vase to pour in water and obviously there's no water coming out. Then after that, I will lift off the cloth and then to reveal the water that has been inside the cup all along. The trick is to hide the things from being seen. So before you start filming, it's very important that you place your camera on a steady tripod so that it's not moving. I also have a bottle of water ready at the side and also the piece of cloth that I'm going to cover my cup with later. I'll start by filming the front part where I show the empty cup. I'll also film a clean shot of the cup without any kind of movement inside the scene. This is because I'm going to use part of it to hide the cup that is going to be filled with water later. Then I'm going to pour in water into the cup. This part I'm going to cut it out during the editing process. Then I'm going to cover it with a piece of cloth and then I'll go on with the acting of pouring out water from the jug. And then lifting it off and voila! After you're done, open up the Video Lip app and press the plus sign to import your video clip. Right now, I'm just cutting out all the excess clips that I think is not necessary. So for example, I wanted to remove the part where I was seen pouring water into my cup. So I gotta cut that out. And then also there were some parts where I was trying a few times with placing the cloth over the cup and also with how I hold on to the jar. I picked the best angle that I could find and then I just deleted the rest of the clips that was unnecessary. Remember the part where I recorded a short clip of just an empty cup without any kind of movement? This is where it's going to come in when we start masking the clips. So essentially what we want to have is two layers of clips. One which is the cup with the water before you put the cloth on top and another clip on top that has the empty cup. So we're going to use the masking function inside Videolib where you are going to reveal just the empty cup on top of the layer merging these two clips together and that would create the whole illusion. So let's go back to video lip again. I'm going to show you how to create the mask function. You want to drag the layer with the empty cup on top where the cup already has water. Line it up perfectly by dragging it across. Make sure it's all lined up. and then go to the bottom and look for the function called mask. You can choose the various function that's linear. I'm using the radial one here because I just need to mask out just the cup itself. You can use two fingers to adjust the size of the mask and then you can play with the arrow to adjust the feathering. This feathering would allow a very smooth blending around the edges so that both clips can blend quite nicely together. You notice that when I slide across the timeline, the mask remains at the same position. So what we want to do is to create keyframes by clicking on the diamond button at the bottom right corner. This will add a keyframe for the position of our mask. You can use your two fingers to zoom in so you can get a more precise frame. So slide frame by frame and use your finger to adjust the position of your mask. When the diamond is on the clip, it means that a key has been locked. So when you replay it, it you show the mask moving according to where you lock the position. So let's check through the clip again and see if everything looks nice. Oh, you see there's something going on over there. The mask seems to be covering part of my hand at the end. That is because I placed my mask towards the end of the clip. So I'm going to move the position and make it smaller. Perhaps I'll move it to the side where it won't affect any of the other parts of the clip. Let's go through the clip and see if everything looks fine.
And there you go. I think that was quite successful. Usually during this masking uh, step, you will notice that your camera angle might have shifted a bit or the color might have changed a bit. So this is why I said your camera angle, your colors, your lighting needs to be exactly the same. After checking through the clip, I am going to export my clip. Just click on the top right corner, the export button, change the frame per second to 25 frames per second, and then just click save. You can also add in sound effect using iMovie if you'd like. That would make your clip seem even more believable. There's so many things that you can try with this technique. Just explore and have fun with different ideas.